You've got a friend in me Liquor filled wine and beer With personalities they're colorful indeed Glad your travels led you here Join us on our channel live See the kind of vids we do Whatever is your pleasure We are sure you'll find them here The Albano Rhino Beer Review Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have the Manchild. We have this beer that I picked up in St. Thomas at the Railway City Brewing Company. This is Railway City's Hoptoberfest. I've been there. Yes. That place is awesome. So, Hoptoberfest has a different different feel this year. It has a spooky label because it has a new hop in it. Um, we're going to be drinking dead people. Well, there's a dead Sweet. elephant there, too. It got yeah. hit by a train. Yeah, jump, d Dumbo. Jumbo. Yeah, London. Jumbo. <laughs> no, that's St. Thomas. St. Thomas. Okay. Where's when they anyway, electrocute the elephant? This 5.2% this alcohol beer has graveyard hops in it, and they're called graveyard hops because they were a wild hop found in a graveyard. Fucking really, A. The funeral director doesn't get to review this beer. Yeah, this, this <laughs> right over here, guys. Yeah. Yeah, yes, actually, yeah, Devin, uh, get over here. You, you have nothing Seriously. to do with the holes in the ground. The, uh, yeah, he puts everyone there. No, no he just decorates the body. The <laughs> He's not the makeup artist. That, He's the one shoving tubes in necks and draining shit out yeah, and know, touching yeah, their genitals. I heard you did the reverse before they did the video. So, so in fact, he is the reverse. He is the, he's the exact opposite of The Undertaker. Yeah. Like the rustler, though. <laughs> not the job. Bad stuff out. Yeah, let's, let's I'm looking forward to this shit. Casket matches every day at work. <laughs> <laughs> More like buried alive. Come on. And he wins every casket match. Well, I'd hope so. Really, if one of them beat him, you just gotta quit. Yeah, yeah. Like, a corpse beat you? Like how? Like this ain't no weekend at Bernie's three. Oh my goodness. That's right. That's right. You just made Crazy. that reference. Mm -hmm. He just went there. Alrighty, so. There's some left for people to try. Looks looks nice. Nice brassy color. A little bit orangey, too. Yeah. A little bit of head up there. Mm, it smells pretty. It does. <laughs> um, almost, there's like strawberries to that scent. Is there? Yep, that's what that is. Do dead people smell like strawberries, Devin? Old <laughs> people, <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I don't know if the camera heard you or not, but to answer your question, after drinking a fresh bottle of this the day I bought it, that's what I thought, is that it tasted like what those are described as tasting. The Alma hops with the, with the melon, strawberry-like... That's what it was like, yeah. But, um... No, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, lots of... It smells like strawberries to me. Mm -hmm. So what we're saying is this hops grew out of, like, some grandma coffin that insisted on being buried with her soap collection. You know, those little little oh. seashell soaps? And yeah, all the ones that dissolve? Everybody's yeah. grandma had them. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's what it He's is. He's right, too. That's what it Let's is. Try them. Every know. grandma had them. Mm -hmm. well, my parents had them, though my parents are, like, in their 70s, so... Can I have some? No, I can't do it. I gotta finish this. I like this too much. Yeah, I can't do the mix. <laughs> that's a weird strawberry, though. It's there. It's totally there. But it's like... I, I think yeah. rhubarb, almost. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I see that. The bitterness, yeah. But, but raw rhubarb, not, not, not yeah. cooked in yeah. sugar outside. Yeah. And stuff. yeah, like you grew it and you're eating Chewing it. Chewing it off the, the wing fleet rhubarb. <laughs> Eat the leaves. Yeah. Eat the leaves. So a graveyard hop, again, was a hop they found in a graveyard. They took it out of the graveyard. They, uh, they did what you do to yeast. They cultivated a couple generations of it before they could make it into its own organism and sell it. And that's what it is now, is a graveyard hop that can be used. Uh, interesting have, beer. Uh, to that, uh, the, the internet may not know as well. What were they doing in said graveyard in searching for this? They were probably visiting a grave and saw a hop vine and went, ooh, what's that? All right, because that's the only part that was like, how did they end up finding shit in a graveyard? Like, what were they doing? They were having an orgy over in one of the monoleums. Mono ah, a bunch sounds, of Satanists. Uh, mono this sounds like a, a beer dogfish head would do, just some st yeah. stupid gimmick. Like, but, uh, but it's a great hops. Yeah, but this ain't bad. No, no there's a little bit of caramel to it. It's a very easy drinking beer, very light. Mm -hmm. The taste goes away almost right away. But a nice, like, <laughs> raw rhubarb <laughs> and uh, strawberry flavoring to it. Like fucking snap into a Slim Jim. This shit's pretty fucking good, man. It's a Macho Man Randy Savage level good drink. It is. I, I, I like it. 
Uh, it's it's, 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 it's subtle. Two, two wrestling references, like one review. I'm, I'm that's a record. Like it's fucking. Like it's, 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 yeah, the skin. Yeah. Like yeah. It, it's it's a, it's a nice beer with 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 subtle t hints of taste that isn't boring, and and it's and it's not offensive at all, and it's easy drinking, and fuck, we gotta kill more people. <laughs> Or, 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 just, said, or just yeah. grow more. This, right? this is actually a really good beer. I was worried about it. I and I got into it. I like it. I, the drums. I want some graveyard hops to brew with because if these flavors are like I don't know if these are the flavors coming from the bell, from the hops or if it's from something else. I know some army dudes is, in St. Thomas that we can bust into that shit. Yeah, and get it for the, you. Close to graveyard. We'll go right now. We'll fucking hook with it up. Hops growing in it. That could hurt. We'll hook it up. <laughs> but if we can get these <laughs> hops, <laughs> I will <laughs> brew with them. Drinking dead people is fun. Recycle your Who pets. Knew? Recycle Who your knew? pets. Anyway, out of ten, I would give this an eight seven five. This is a beer that I would actually actively look for because it's just f nice, crisp, and refreshing. I'd give it an eight. It's good. Alrighty, guys. Thank you very much. Railway yeah, City yeah. Hoptoberfest. We're, we're, we're gonna go check out every graveyard.